Hi everyone, it's Tina. Today's challenge is going to be using your gypsy. I've been talking to people on the pantry and there's a lot of people who have gypsies who never use them. So it's time to get it out and see what you can actually do with it. Now, the sample I'm going to do today is going to be a card, a card, a shaped card. So you can pick a shape off your gypsy or off your Cricut and weld it together and then make a card. So what I'm going to show you is this little apple. Okay. So what I'm going to do first, cause I'm going to make the background or the card that actually folds first. So we move to shadow and I'm going to do the apple shadow and I'm going to press that twice. So once you've got two of those, I want you to go back to the screen. Now for this, I want the apple to be, oops, I want the apple to be five inches high. So this is the one that says height. I want this to be five inches high. Move them back over here. Now the next thing that I want to show you is how to flip one of them so that you have a front side of the card and a back side of the card that match. So in advanced settings, which is this button, you will see this little button here, which is two arrows pointing to a line and that's horizontal. So what you can do is hit on that button. Oh, wait a minute. First touch one apple, whichever one you want, doesn't make much difference. And then this will be the front of the card. So you flip that apple, the machine will actually keep them level with each other. So it's best not to move them around by with the cursor because it's hard to get them back level. So if you leave it alone and don't touch it until you want to move it, overlap it. So now this button here is what's going to move it closer and overlap it to the other apple. So I'm going to show you and as it flicks off, you move it over as far as you'd like. As long as you've got room within this space to write on, that's far enough whatever you feel comfortable with not don't do just a tiny little bit because it'll be flimsy give it quite a bit because you're going to put another layer on top of it so it'll look the same as a regular shaped apple okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to weld these so what you have to do is you have to tap on both of them so they're both blue or gray maybe i can't see and hit this button here, which is welding them together. Okay. And to see what it's going to look like and what's going to cut and what's not going to cut, you hit the eyeball and wherever it's red is going to cut and where it's gray, it will not cut. Okay. Okay. So that's that. I'm going to put this back and I'm going to move my apples up to the top. That'll be one color of paper. So now the second one that I'm going to do, and that is going to be a regular apple. So, whoops, not the shift. I want to take the shadow off and this apple is just a tiny bit smaller. The shadow is a, a fraction larger than the regular image. Okay. So I'll take one of those. Actually, I'll take two of those. That way I can get them the same size and I'm going to hit five inches again. Check to see which way you're, um, I'm going to have to flip these because this one I flipped. If I had flipped the other one, it would, uh, I would have had it this way, but that's okay. It doesn't really make any difference. Now let's go back here and I will flip both of them. Okay. So one of these apples is going to be red. Let's just leave this one as red. And the other one is going to be green and the green one I'm going to pull down and put it at the very bottom because the Cricut machine will not cut into the gray. So what it'll do is it'll cut this image out, but only part of it. You're not wasting a whole lot of paper. If I cut the whole thing out of green, I would end up cutting the stem off and just using the stem. Some images do give you, um, layers that are just of those portions, but this one's a pretty basic one. It doesn't have all those intricate little layers. So instead of wasting my green paper, I'm sliding it down to the bottom 
and I'm just going to cut out half of this apple. Okay, so now I'm going to put my paper onto my, my cutting mat and I'll be right back. So with my images on the mat in this order, this will be my background, my card. This will be my layer on top of the card. And this will be the extra layer that I'm putting on for my leaf and my stem. And I will show you what I do with that in a minute. Now this is the pattern that I'm going to put it on my mat and cut all of them at the same time because it's just fast and once you get used to doing it you make sure that your image on the gypsy is in the same spot and you watch between the numbers on your mat that you've got them in the right area so my apple is going to cut out in this area and this one takes up the whole six by six corner and this one takes up almost six by twelve so I'm going to put it into the machine and I'll show you how that goes. <laughs> All right, so I hit the wrong button, so it's already cut out and I will show you now what it's going to do. I wish they made on off buttons a lot easier to see if it was on and off. Anyways, that's okay. Sorry about that. So you didn't get to watch it. Um, do all its cutting but that's okay it's not that exciting okay so this is my card the shape of the shaped card is this one I will be folding that in the middle okay my apple and like I said this one I didn't want the whole thing because I'm gonna basically cut it off here anyways so it is going to come up but it doesn't cut through this spot here because it won't cut into the gray, into that mat. So I just have to snip that off anyways. I just don't like to waste up paper. I mean, I can use up some of my little scraps if I do this. So basically what I'm going to do is cut the stem into a little V so it looks like it's going into the middle of the apple. Okay, And that will look like that. What I'll end up doing is using my Copic pens to color that brown because I take the lightest color, whichever color is lightest on the two things. I could have done another layer if I wanted to, but I chose not to. I can color that stem brown over the green. And it'll still look brown. Okay, so let me take this off the pad. I know my mats look horrendous but I love them to death and I use them forever I just keep adding more and more and more of zig 2a glue I've had this one since February and I just restick it whenever I find the corners aren't sticking and it seems to work I don't wash it I don't do anything to it except scrape all the bits off and put my glue on again that's my quick trick it's probably not the best way to do it, but it is my way of doing it. <laughs> okay, so here's my card. And see how there's a tiny little uh, divot right here? That's going to be one spot. And line it up with the bottom one. And then I take my ruler and my bone folder on my cutting mat. It doesn't have to be a soft spot. It can be right on your table if you don't mind. And then I just score it. Okay, because most of the papers that I'm using, the like colored papers, they are too um, lightweight to be able to, um, I don't know, I don't like scoring it with the score pal or with my Martha Stewart scoreboard. It just seems to cut it in half. I don't like it when it gets like that. Okay, so let me just, if I could get it even, I will. Okay, so you basically fold that in half. Now once you've got that folded in half, then you put your layers on. And this is going to be, oh, there's your apple. I'm going to color my, hmm, I wonder what I should do about that. <laughs> I suppose I could do another one, but I'm not going to. Where's my brown? Here's my brown. Let's color that in. OK, 
Okay, so my stem will now be brown and my leaf is green. And there's my apple card. I would stick it all together, but I think I'm running out of time. So I'm challenging you to use your gypsy. However you see fit, I want you to use your gypsy. I'm going to check back with everybody who's told me that they haven't used their gypsy since they got it. And I'm going to see if you've done anything with your gypsy. Try welding something together. It doesn't matter if you use it. Just try welding two images together to create a mirror image. Try it and see what you think. Use it on, just do two squares if you want, just to start off with and try it out. Just see how easy it is. And once you get the hang of it, you'll do more cards. I promise you will. It's a lot of fun. And eventually you can get really creative and start making a lot more things. It's, I, I don't even know where to begin because once you get started and it's really hard to go back to the beginning, to day one when I first started doing it, but I really want you to start doing it. I would love to do some Ustream videos if anybody's interested. Send me a message. Tell me if you're interested or not. I would love to show people how to use their Gypsy and their Cricut to its potential. I mean, it's so much fun to use it to whatever it can do. I will be back again. My class or my challenges will be every Friday after the swaps close on the 5th. It'll be the Friday after every swap is fin or closed. So hope you enjoyed this. I'll talk to you again in a few more weeks. Bye for now.